Hi everyone, it's Global Scholarships and I'm your host Az. Today, we're gonna look at how to apply to Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology with a fully funded scholarship. This scholarship covers your full tuition, your medical health insurance, and even provides a monthly financial aid, 350,000 South Korean wants. That's right. And the best part is that you don't even have to go through a separate application for this scholarship. Applying to the school is enough. This is an incredible opportunity because KAIST is one of the best institutes in South Korea. They've been developing cutting-edge technologies like online electric vehicle system, which we've actually made a short video about. And with this scholarship, you can too become a part of this outstanding institute. As always, for more information, go to our website at globalscholarships.com. So, let's get to it. Okay, we start the process by going to the website of the institute. And then we just go and hover over admissions and click on admissions information. Now, in this page, there are two options. One is undergraduate admissions and the other is graduate studies admissions. So we're going to go for the undergraduate admissions. And then we go down and click on application guide. Now we go and click on apply online here. And here we have the application page. Okay, you can choose one of these, either spring or fall, and we then click on apply. Okay, and then we have this message here. KAIST is not responsible for any disadvantages occurred due to applicants' ineligibility. Okay, now of course we need to read these consent forms carefully. And then if everything is in order, we click on agree all here and then click on application. Okay, there are now seven steps. And first one is the information. I'm going to enter some random information here. Okay, to upload a photo, we click on upload. And then we click on choose file here. Okay, I've chosen my picture. Done. Let's create a password. Uh, I'll just copy this one for now. It's fine. Nationality, I'm Turkish, so I'm going to choose Turkey or Turkey. And then let's choose a random date of birth. This and this, gender, male, place of birth. I'm from Turkey, so I'll just type in Istanbul. Passport now is optional. Form registration now is also optional. Um, here I'll just put in 111 random street. Email address, another, okay. John Doe dot Gmail. Okay, sorry, we choose the mail and then telephone. Guardian information. It's, um, let's say, Johnny Doe. And postal address is the same. And the phone number is the same. Oh, sorry, this is actually. And relationship let's say my brother okay and field of interest and um, none of these actually contain my field so I'll just choose business and technology management and save and continue yes I want to save this page duplicate email what's that John Doe 111 then yes good Okay, high school name, you can just choose your high school, you can search your high school from here. Or you can just input directly, like... And then you can just go ahead and fill this form. Uh, one important thing is that you cannot change recommender's information after paying application fee. Please check once again if all information is correct. And then we have the academics section here list the names and other necessary information of the schools you've attended or are attending in chronological order and then we have english proficiency test if you face any technical problem when choosing year month from calendar you can simply type the test date directly into the blank instead of choosing it from the calendar okay now there is the ept exemption if applicants request for an ept exemption for the following reasons 
Kaisel confirm your EPT exemption after reviewing your documents. Applicants or nationals of majority English speaking countries, I guess like Britain or USA, or applicants who complete their high school where classes are taught in English. English must have been the language of instruction, including the language of the textbooks. In this case, you have to submit an official letter of your high school on doc submission EPT page. And then we have extracurricular activity. Please list your principal extracurricular, volunteer or community activities. You can just put in the information and then work experience, which is quite self-explanatory. And then we click on next. Now, step three, which is the standard official test score. Important note, please ensure that the document you are attempting to upload must be in PDF format. You cannot save this page if the documents are in different form like J JPEG or PNG or something. If you've taken any college scholastic aptitude test, please fill out the following accordingly. The official score report of each test should also be sent to KAIST by the document submission deadline. For each type of standardized official test score, you must choose at least one submission method. If you choose online reporting, you do not have to enter the scores and uploads can copy either. If you choose file upload, you must enter scores and upload file. If you do not have any score except for nation exam, you must place a check in not available box for all the rest of the official test scores. Otherwise, this page cannot be saved successfully. Okay, there are the scores, SAT, AP, ACT, IB Diploma, GCE, A-Level, International Olympiad or Nation Exam. Check here if none of the above scores are available. And then I will click on Next. And then we are on step four. Now, an important note here is that the PDF files cannot be saved as a package. Please click save and continue for single item. And here we have honors and awards. If you have any, I'd say they would come in handy. And then you click on save and continue. I click on next. And now on step five, we have essays. Now, if you want to learn how to write a killer essay or a personal statement, you should see our guide on writing essays or personal statements, for which I will provide the links in the description. Okay, so we go down here, and then I certify that all information provided in my application is accurate, complete, and honestly presented. I understand that any omission, inaccurate information, or misrepresentation herein may result in cancellation of my admission to KAIS. Let's click. And then I hereby agree that the recommendation letter remains strictly undisclosed. I click on that and let's go next. Now, step six is the page we apply for the scholarship. Here we click on the KAIS scholarship and it automatically takes tuition fees and living expenses. And then there is service information and instructions. Please attach and check off one of the following list of documents. Note that the documents created in languages other than English should be translated and included along with their original copies. The document's currency must be in the United States dollar. In an attempt to provide more room for applicants to well convey their financial condition, an optional text box is provided at the end of this application. Please do not forget to upload all the checked documents on the doc submission page. And here we have the list of documents. Again, we'll attach and click off just one of them, either income tax or wage statement or employer's letter for our mother, father or legal guardian other than parents. Or we have business company supplement, bank account statement, or if you have something else, you can just type it in here. Let's just say for now, wait statement for mother and we can save and continue. Yes, I want to save successfully saved great finish writing the application form before making payment which means it wants me to fill out the entire form before making the payment of course i'm not going to do that now but at this point you will have filled out the entire application form so you should be good to go as you can see this is my page applicant information now the application fee after paying the application fee for each admission track you cannot change your application track from one to another for example early regular or late nor getting any refund is not available hang on it should be nor getting any refunds anyway 
So please double check the application that you wish to apply carefully upon making the application fee payment. At this point, you should be able to click pay now and then go to payment. Now, this page doesn't tell us how much is the application fee, but we can just go and look for that. So it should be around $80 or 80,000 South Korean wons. And then you click on pay now to make the payment and that should be it. The results announcement button is, as you can see, is here. You can click on that and proceed once you made the payment. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. And let us know what other tutorials you would like to see on our channel. And if you are looking for more comprehensive guides on studying abroad as well as scholarship opportunities, be sure to visit our website at globalscholarships.com. See you in the next one.